what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel as you can see i am bringing you my april curl box unboxing um in my last video i kind of briefly told you guys that this will be my last month of the normal subscription so you won't see see too many more of these unboxings however anytime they come out with like any limited edition boxes or anything like that I will try to grab one so I can share and unbox and give you a good review of everything when that comes up but as of right now this will be my last subscription service so I already unsealed everything just for the ease of the video and I have not looked so yes. let's just go on ahead and dig into the box uh first thing that you see usually is like the little pamphlet that they have in the box so ooh, making sure i don't make a mess here so this month's box the theme is the curl confidence box and again this is for the month of april and yeah so let's just go on ahead and unbox the things and if i feel it's necessary to to touch on what's going on or what they have written in here i will do so um but basically it just seems like it's kind of like a <sighs> what okay so maybe i will read this okay it says i've got a few pounds to drop before my birthday and some un upcoming spring travel the entire curl box crew has attempted not all of us have finished the whole 30 program i am re rekindling my love affair with the treadmill and i've picked up some high-waisted swimsuits to keep me inspired with that being said i am feeling pretty confident about my shape up approach and my hair this spring thanks to this month's curl box this is filled with the most popular design essential natural products that will give you the confidence to achieve your spring fitness goals without sacrificing style there's no exercise for not shaping up this there's no excuse for not shaping up this spring with support and a few tips to get you going so i think that this is weird um talking about confidence you got a girl on here who is clearly a bit on the chubbier side which i appreciate her confidence to even come and slay for y'all real quick but then they're talking about working out am i the only one that thinks that's a little weird maybe um i mean anyways all right so just looking at the glance of what they have in the pamphlet i don't really need that to really go based off of but the first thing that i see in the box is a satin hair bonnet plus two-in-one luxury hair bonnet with a sleep mask that's strange okay so i use a bonnet on my hair at night to wrap my hair up i never actually like physically wrap my hair when it's straight and when it's curly i literally just pop a bonnet over top so this one <laughs> it is a bonnet but then it has a sleep mask attached and okay i see it has velcro to kind of hold the mask in place on either side so kind of interested to see how this works and if this is big enough for my hair i mean not velcro that down yet all right so it does fit on my head the satin does not feel as silky as the one that i have but you know we'll work with it okay so it attaches here and here so you get your best sleep with the uh, the blackened out effect of that i think this is pretty inventive um i don't always only sleep in my bonnet like sometimes like if i don't have work on my off day or whatever 
or whatever i don't know if i'm cooking i'll put a bonnet on so maybe this will be a bonnet that i can keep just in my bed and have my other bonnet for when i'm doing stuff around the house i guess this is really this is very unique so i think i appreciate this and i do need a new bonnet anyways because the elastic around mine is beginning to wear off so this will be put to use for show and then the next things here again they are all design essentials products these are products that i actually use in salon for my natural styles and stuff so the first things here are the almond and avocado moisturizing in detangling sulfate free shampoo and then the most mo oh, the moisturizing and detangling conditioner um i have used these before like i said i use them in salon on clients who are getting like natural hairstyles so i know for a fact that i like this already i really like the slip of both the shampoo and conditioner but especially the shampoo because i almost feel like i can detangle their hair as i shampoo like if i run up on any kinks i don't have to worry about like ripping their hair apart because it's so stripped and dried out but this really has like a lot of moisture to it and a lot of slip and it smells like candy so i already know that i like these a lot so i'll probably just i'll leave these at home for myself to use and then also it came with whoa it came with the uh almond and avocado detangling leave-in conditioner this is also a product that i've used before it has the same scent as the shampoo and conditioner which is like candy and i have never used this have i used this on myself i can't remember if i've used this or if i use like another leave-in conditioner I mean this one is just all right like it has a lot of slip to it and I feel like a little bit can really be stretched a long way however I just don't notice a whole lot of hydration with this which is maybe why I haven't used it at home um, but I mean for clients it's all right because I end up layering a lot of products anyways and then this last product here is the design essentials natural curl enhancing mousse this one I have used on myself whenever I do a perm rod set. This is the mousse that I choose to use because again, it is extremely moisturizing. I feel like my hair, even though like I'll do like, I'll do my rod set at night, I let my hair dry overnight and then usually I'll go and sit under a hooded dryer for like an additional two hours just to make sure my, my stuff is bone dry. I feel like this kind of cuts the time back because there was there was one time that I actually twisted or I did my rod set and dried under the dryer the same day rather than drying overnight and I feel like it dried my hair pretty quick um, but this one has the olive oil and vitamin B complex in it this I know that I love for a fact um, these are just okay like like I said, I really like the shampoo because it does have the slip factor to it. And then I'll just give this another go just to see how my hair likes it because I don't think that I've actually tried this on my hair before. So um, I think it's cool that I got mainly Design Essentials products. Like I said before, I really enjoy like the one brand themed boxes that they come out with design essentials is just like an extremely popular brand so it is something that i have already tried before i really more so enjoy when they have like more indie brands or brands that are pretty new to the market um for these boxes but i will still get some use out of these that's a good thing about this box i guess is that everything here are like really really solid basics and so i know for a fact that i will use them and if even if i don't use them i will know somebody else who likes these products already so i can give them i can share the wealth so um i'll give this box like you know, I'll give it like a, a 7 out of 10. I would say a 7 only really because Design Essentials is not like a new brand or a brand that a lot of people aren't familiar with or whatever. So, and then the bonnet was pretty unique. So, I mean, this is definitely a product that I will 
be using. So yeah, that was everything. Um, sorry this video was like kind of real. I feel like it was real fast and straight to the point. I kind of gave you guys many reviews of each one of these products. So I hope that you enjoyed that. And if you want to see more from me, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Um, I put out new videos at least once or twice a week. So until the next one, I will see you guys later.